Hey everybody, welcome to a brand new series on the channel. Today, guys, we are starting Stone Block 2. That's right, I had such a good time on the first mod pack of this series. You guys said you would love to see Stone Block 2, so here we are. We are starting a new adventure today. It's going to be a lot of fun, guys. So first off, we got to do question of the day. So with this series getting started, what are some fun things that you would like to see me do in this mod pack? Let me know down in the comment section below. If you guys enjoy this series and you want to see some more, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe and turn on those notifications when the videos come out. Let's go for a thousand likes today, guys. Let's get into it. All right, guys. So to get started with today's episode, man, it feels good to be back in the starting room. This is exciting. I, I like the Stone Block Mod Pack series. It's very, very fun to record. Um, now the pack is actually run by FTB. So all of the lag issues that we were having with Stone Block 1, I would imagine that those will probably be gone with Stone Block 2. So in our inventory, we have a pet rock, stonium, apples, and a quest book. Now, I don't know what those two do. I'm going to put these up here for now. Let's go ahead and take a look into the quest book. Oh, wow. Look at all this. Okay, so we've got stone block storage. Looks like we have both um, applied energistics again and the actually I don't see. Okay, so refined storage got removed, I'm assuming. Okay, okay. Chickens. Oh, wow. Look at all that. <laughs> <laughs> mystical agriculture so pretty much a lot of the same stuff as last time hey look they fixed the mob spawners that's very awesome very awesome uh oh big spender uh all the infinity catalysts so this is a lot of the same quests as before i like this but oh it's got thomcraft guys that's so exciting i love thomcraft okay so to get started building a better life or build a block building the block of life pebbles are obtained by breaking stone with the empty hand you can throw them or craft them into cobblestone okay all right so first things first let me go oh god i just realized we had auto jump on let's oh they're using better fonts too i like that uh controls auto jump off there we go let's go ahead and make our room just a little bit bigger here to get started I'm excited to get into this mod pack i think that this time around we have a better understanding you know, of how things are going to work. Um, oh, wow. So you can't hold something in your hand and break it. It has to actually be your hand. Makes sense, because if I break it with stone in my hand, look how slow that goes. Yeah, that makes sense. OK, so let's collect a bunch of these and get this first one done. Uh, this time around, we are going to handle the base situation a little bit differently, I think. Uh, last time we tried to make this big elaborate base and it, it really didn't go the way that we wanted to. I think we're going to approach this more as like a big factory this time. All right. So we um, we've got the first one done. So random reward. Oh, two double layer capacitors. Wow, that's pretty cool. Um, so you oh, it's always a random reward. I see. So I probably I can't really use those right now, but uh, what's the next quest? The next quest is to make cobblestone and it wants us to make uh, four pebbles into cobblestone. So turn that into there. That's easy. That is done now. Uh, did it want more than that? Oh, 12 cobblestone. I see. So what I think we should probably do is go ahead and just start expanding. Um, I wonder if I could. I don't know if I should try that or not. I wonder if you <laughs> I don't know. Oh, it doesn't work. I was going to say, can I vein mine that? That would be crazy. OK, so here's the game plan. I'm going to go ahead and cut because it's literally just me punching stone. I do want to see if I can finish this quest real fast. There's nine. I like the random reward idea. That's a really cool idea because uh, I'm sure that the random rewards are generated from a JSON file rather than just picking some random item in the game. But um i do want to at least finish this quest real fast there we go how much is uh i think th oh there we go got it done i think we only needed 12. 12 cobblestone random reward we got a auto sifter um the only thing is is i'm not sure that i want to place this down because i'm afraid that if i place it down i won't be able to pick it up 
So auto sifter probably needs some mesh. All right, well anyways, I'm gonna get to work. All right guys, I did quite a bit more work working on the cobblestone. So we have 30, wow, 30, 29 cobblestone, Jevin, 29. Let's go ahead and take a look at the quest book because we need to finish two more. So it wants us to make a cobblestone chest. So let's look that up and see if we can craft that. I am assuming so, here it is. So it requires these cobblestone parts, so we need four of these. That's pretty cool, stone chest mod, I like that. All right, so there's a stone chest. Now, I'm gonna try to pick this up. I don't think I'm gonna be able to. If I lose it, I lose it, it's not too big of a deal. All right, so let's put our stone chest down. Put you up there, put our pet rock. I can't believe we have a pet rock. Rewards, keep the cobblestone and that on us. Fantastic, so now we've got the chest. Let's go ahead and claim that reward. Times two ender tanks. Wow, that's pretty cool. I'll put those up there as well. Eventually, we will definitely, definitely use those. Uh, next up is a crafting table. We already know how to do that. Stone crafting table finito. Let me go ahead. Um, I think for now, I'll just put it down like right here. Let's break that and put that in there. And so that completes that reward. Okay, I'm so used to having to click to finish the reward. Item magnet uh, pulls items and XP every hundred ticks. On by default, can be turned off by giving it redstone power. Okay, oh, some interesting rewards so far. So now it wants us to make dirt. Craft a stone hammer, use it on cobblestone to get gravel and then dirt. Okay, so we've got to craft a stone hammer. That's interesting. How does one get a stone hammer? So it wants us to use um, any kind of stone rod. So in the crafting table here, we can go there, make some of those, and then there, there, there. So there's a stone hammer. Um, I'm going to try to keep this room kind of clean for now, but eventually this is going to turn into just kind of a big square. That's kind of the game plan for this time. Um, so we've got the hammer finished, so now we need to make dirt. So what I think I'm going to do is just mine up to here, probably. There we go. And then mine over to here. So we'll get a bunch of cobblestone from this. Let's do the same thing on these sides real fast. Ah, it's good to have tools. We're not using our hands anymore. That's fantastic. Uh, so this version or this mod pack to me right now, just from the first couple of minutes that we've been playing, seems like a really smooth version of Stone Block 1. Like, not exactly the same pack, but it's got, you know, it's reminiscent of Stone Block 1, so. All right, let's get a little bit more cobblestone here, and then we will be good to go. There we go. Okay, we're good there. So we got a whole bunch. By the way, okay, I was gonna say, maybe I could turn magnet mode on, but I don't think so. Um, so now that we've got that kind of finished, let's go ahead, put this down and make a few pieces of dirt. And I gotta love vein miner. There's the gravel and dirt. So that finishes that quest. Random reward. Eight black lotuses. Okay. Oh, Botania. So it's probably going to have us go the tree route. So stone crook can be used to get dirt, uh, used on any dirt to get a vanilla sapling. Oh, wow. That's really cool. So I can do this. Come over here. Um, make some more rods real fast and then make a crook. How do I make a stone crook? Oh, it's actual cobblestone. I see. Okay. So then I can do this and get saplings. Oh, that's pretty cool, actually. Well, wow, that's not bad, actually, of quite a few saplings. Okay. Okay. So now we can make wood and stuff. That's pretty awesome. So, again, I'm going to have to get used to doing that. I got another auto sifter. That must be a pretty common thing. Um, I would like to know how to use this. I'm assuming that it just needs um, needs uh, stuff, talking. 
<laughs> I forgot how to talk. It needs either RF or something like that. But now that I've got enough stuff to start making wood and things like that, I'm going to go ahead and work on getting a stockpile done. All right, guys. So I have expanded our base room. I can grow tall trees now. We got all kinds of goodies from the tall trees as well. Um, which one was I? I don't know if I was using this one for food. I think we probably will. Um, got some storage going on. Just kind of working through the main stuff here. Uh, this, the tall tree thing is kind of working, kind of not working. I think the room needs to be a little bit bigger. That's why these walls are missing stuff. Cause when the tree detects it, I think it like needs to be seven by seven. So sometimes it won't grow. Um, but what I'm going to keep doing is just going through everything. Eh, it seems to be working a little bit. I bet if we remove those corners up there, we'll be fine. But got to love some tall trees. I want my apple. That's the only problem. I want my apple. Let me have my apple. There we go. All right. So now that I'm um, I'm well on my way to collecting all the goods, let's go ahead and take a look at the quest book now. 16 of any wood, eight chance cubes, and then it wants us to get into Tinker's. Um, we could probably blast through Tinkers really fast. It shouldn't take that much work. First off, we need to make some planks, make some sticks, make some patterns. There's that. Then we need a stencil table and then part builder, then crafting table. You, you, so there's the three. Uh, we'll probably need to make a little bit more stencils. So let's do that or blank patterns because now we need to make a chest. Put that over top of the chest. There's the pattern chest. And I'm probably forgetting at least one thing. Oh no, I actually finished it. Claim reward. Um, wow. Compressed nether stars. <laughs> That's funny. All right. Well, this is kind of like my dump chest right now. I will keep these nether stars up here. It's going to be quite a while before we get EMC anyway. So um, let's put that right there, that right there. And then I wanted to make a spot for sticks there. All right. I'm not going to be doing any more tinkers at the moment. So now... It wants us to do string, so we need to get that crook that we have and get some string grown. So let me see if I can get a tall tree to grow here. Um, we should probably make a mob spawner soon. That way we could probably try to make a watering can, I think. Uh, yeah, see, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. I think we definitely need more space. What I think I'm going to do, you know what? Let's go ahead and just give that a quick test real fast. Let's remove that border and see if that will do anything at all. So we'll remove all of this, hopefully with because the way that it looked like the tree was growing, it looked like um, that there was just it was just missing a little bit of space. So if we can get that extra little space and get tall trees going really fast, that would be amazing. OK, grab all this cobblestone. Move the other side. All right. Now let's go up here and do this side. All right. You got to go. I don't remember the general requirements for tall trees, but eventually we'll be switching to bonsai plants anyways. So if we can just get this going for like real early game. That would be fantastic. OK, get rid of all this and then we'll try again. There we go. Fantastic. So now we have even more space on top. Oh, just by moving around, we were able to grow it. Wow, that's insane. OK, so that must have been the problem then because we were moving. And well, I know that there's some very specific requirements for it, but see if we can. Well, I'm hitting all kinds of wrong buttons here. So let's try to get a tree here so we can get some silkworms. I should have just did it with the last one. I didn't even think about it. I'm so sorry. 
Yeah, it seems to kind of pick and choose whether or not it can work. Really is kind of being obnoxious. It's like, you're recording? Oh, well, we won't grow tall trees then. The one thing that I'm really curious about is how fast the silkworms activate in this one. Here, let's let's remove this real fast so we can just get through this really quickly. OK, so it's going to grow a tall tree anyways. So we got 10 worms. I'm actually very curious to see if it'll activate another tall tree there. So, oh, no. OK, let me eat some apples. Actually, smelt some apples. There we go. I want to try to get one more tree grown. Here we go. I would like to have a tall tree for the worms, to be honest with you. But if that doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. So let's just see how fast that goes. Oh, wow, that's really slow. OK, so let that run. Let's go ahead and take a look at our book here because we just completed that. Um, it wants us to make string, then mining dimension. Oh, wow, you go to mining dimension very early in this. Uh, Overworld has no ores made entirely of stone. So the mining dimension. So, yeah, that's pretty awesome that it lets you go to that pretty quickly. Um, blank barrel upgrade. Are these all random rewards? Yeah, those are all random. All right, guys. So I went ahead and got my string finished. So now we have that going to reward uh, torch launcher. Put that into our junk chest here. There we go. Uh, so what does it want us to do now? It wants us to do a sieve and make the mining dimension. So what do we need to get to the mining dimension? To be honest, the only mining dimension that I even know of is Aroma Core. Uh, what does it say? The overworld has no ores. It's entirely made of stone. The only way to find ores is to dig your way up to the top of the overworld and be teleported to the mining dimension that is full of ores. C J E I. Oh, so you have to mine your way up to the top of the overworld. That's weird. The only way to find ores is to dig your way up to the top of the overworld and be teleported. That's interesting. I've never heard of that before. Um, here, let's do this real fast. Make a ladder or ladders, I should say. Because right now we're on level 90. Wouldn't it be level 256? That's all the way to the top of the overworld. That's 150 here. We'll I'm going to start right here and just try to work my way up. I know that this is probably going to go pretty slow, but I don't know what. Oh, OK, so I'm apparently a speed freak now. That seems rather annoying. Now, the question is um, control X or I guess that would be mode. Here, I'll just uh, go down until we find it. So we're looking for or excavation toggle shape V. So that's taken up. So we need to controls key V. So we want toggle shape or shape toggle edit. So Vario, no idea what that is. Shape cycle item, no idea. Charge, we can change that later. So now we should be. Oh, I see. I can move by myself. So now if I vein mine, I should just. Can I do a one by one? It's going to make me do a one by two, which is fine. I'm going to make another pickaxe real fast. Hold on. I get carried away. So is it going to let me vein mine on top of this? I bet I can't vein mine stone, can I? No. The whole move up and down the ladder thing is kind of annoying. All right. Uh, well, I'm very curious as to what the top of the world is, because if we have to go up to whatever, you know, 256, that's going to take a minute. OK, guys, I have found the top of the world or at least the bedrock. I don't know if this is where I need to go or not. So what I'm going to do is let me switch to this pickaxe because that's about to break. 
Let's go back a little bit, grab these ladders, and just bump into it and see what happens. Oh, oh, there we go. So I think we're heading into a mining dimension now. That's very exciting. Um, okay. Just loading. What is, okay. Loading terrain. I got you, fam. I got you. It ain't no big deal, baby. Mining dimension. Quest complete. Now, how the heck do I get out of here? All right, let's go to the quest there. The overworld has no ores. Okay, so claim reward. We got a water candle. Now, the end, but not really. To reach the end, mine to the top of the mining dimension. Like the end, the other dimensions are almost completely solid. The end is made up of stone and ores. Uh, that uh, that, that could, could be an actual problem. I didn't bring very much wood with me. So I am assuming that you have to like travel through the dimensions to get where you need to go. That's interesting. I wonder why they chose to do that. I would like to be able to get back to the regular part of the world soon, but um, so I am assuming that you have to fight the dragon already to be able to get back to the overworld. That really is interesting. All right, let me let me read the book here real fast. Um, Okay, the end is made up of stone and ores. Okay, so there is no actual dragon, I see. Hmm. That's 256 blocks. And I have no way to get wood. Um, well, I guess I could get wood by doing the method that we have already did, which is the grind to start the world. Um... Yeah. Okay, so here's what I think I'm going to do. I think I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. During the... Between the next episode and now, or now in the next episode talking, I should probably learn how to do that. I already found diamonds. Look at that. <laughs> between those two episodes, um, I am going to get a tree set up going. That way we can make wood again. It's just the same exact process. Um, so it shouldn't be too bad because all we need to do is make dirt. Um, so we'll make a crafting table, make the stone hammer, etc., etc., And eventually we will want to get Tinker's tools going, so we'll probably do that soon too. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the very, very first episode of Stone Block 2. If you guys have any recommendations or anything that you should want me to do in this series, let me know. Uh, otherwise, this is iJevin. Peace out, everybody.